Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Before I start with the analysis, I just want to say thank you to all. As I committed in my webinar outline, a part of the webinar fee that I collect would go for a good cause. So, on your behalf and on my own contribution, both put together, yesterday I was able to help a cancer patient with a real need for money. So, I am keeping up the promise and it is always good to help the people who are in need or the animals which are in need, right? So, I will continue to do this kind of work uh, both from the webinar fee that I collect and my personal contribution, right? Um, thank you all. So, you should feel proud of being part of uh, noble work as well, right? So, it is a good thing. So, let us start with the analysis quickly. So, I think I put two videos over the weekend. Uh, in both the videos, I clearly mentioned that I don't expect Nifty to open as high gap up as it is if Nifty is showing, right? So at one point it was showing around 160 points gap up, and the other point it was showing around I think um, 180 points gap up. So both the things did not happen, right? Clearly, I was doubtful. However, I expected some 60 to 90 points gap up so that it, hit, it hits the parallel range that we have drawn on the daily time frame, right? This is the parallel range we had drawn. So I expected somewhere around 560 to 590 kind of levels and then market to fall. But it was very clear that market had to fall. And I even mentioned, you can, if you go back and watch this video here, I even mentioned that I will not wait for the negative candle also to, form, uh, to be formed. I will go and short directly. That was the clear view, right? So precisely market fell, although it did not open as big as I expected or not even the gift nifty had indicated too big gap up, but both things did not happen. So it made a new high today. So if you see here, it has made a new high here and then it started to fall continuously, right? So it made a consolidation here, fall followed by consolidation, breakdown, and then it continued to fall. Somewhere around this point, I had mentioned that look out for a W pattern, but only enter after it breaks the neckline. So the neckline was around 22, 422, somewhere around that line. So it never closed above it. It formed a W here, but next candle made it bearish and then it started to continue to fall, right? And this low also got broken and then again it made a new low today, right? For the day and closed on the lower end of it, right? So so clearly uh, data was bearish and market did fall, but it fell a lot more than uh, like a, it made a big bearish candle, I would say, right? On daily charts, if you see, this is a daily bearish candle. And this three candlestick pattern together is called a evening star pattern. And on Bank Nifty, if you see, uh, it is like two consecutive bearish candles for now. Now let's quickly start with the analysis for tomorrow and we'll try to see if we have any hints whether market is stopped or not. So let's start with the data first. So retailers, this is the index futures segment. This is the call segment. This is the puts segment. In index futures, retailers have added 4,000 longs. So we consider opposite of retailers. So it is bearish. FIIs are flat. Pros have moved from 1,200 longs to 12,000 shorts. So it is bearish. So two out of three indicators are indicating bearishness. In case of index calls, retailers got heavily bullish today. Despite this 83,000 net call shots, they have added furthermore 207, which is like 290,000 call longs they have added. So it is bearish. FIs have reduced their call longs, so bearish. And all of these shots are created by pros. So that is also indicating bearishness. So index call segment clearly bearish. Index put segment, retailers further added 1,3,000. Roughly, right? 1 lakh 3000 put shots, so it's bearish. FIs have reduced put longs, so bullish. Pros have further added huge put longs, so it is also indicating bearishness. So, two out of three are indicating bearishness in put side. So, from clearly from index call, sorry, the index futures, the calls, and the puts, all three are indicating bearishness. Just to give a glimpse of it, this is how I have written the summary right before making the video. Sometimes I write, but sometimes I make it a mind map where I think about this in my mind. So just to show you this. So data is indicating bearishness. 
So what are the key levels that we need to focus on for tomorrow? So if I will quickly minimize this so that you can see the M pattern formation on early chart clearly. So if not this one, let me show you here. Yeah, so this is the M pattern that I'm talking about. So it has taken a support here and then it has gone above. So if it breaks 22,225, then very likely the target will be 22,050, right? So for tomorrow, very important, very, very important level is 22,225 as the support. Once this is broken by one or two 15 minutes candle, even if it is one, unless it's a fake breakdown, most likely it will come and hit 22,050. However, here the market can take support and just bounce back sharply as well, right? So my opinion, looking at the data, it is bearishness. So any gap up will just make it a volatile because on the top side we have resistance and bottom we have the support. So within this 300 point range, somewhere it will be volatile if it opens a gap up above 20 to 400, right? And if it opens flat, then we can try for a bearish trade and it will be the target 20 to 24, right? And coming on to the bank nifty, uh, slightly more levels I have drawn because there are more resistances. So 47,700 47, is first resistance, 48,000 and 48,160 are the resistances. And on downside, if you see, we are very close to this key support where it has tested once, twice, thrice, right? And so very important level is 47,200. If it closes 15 minutes candle below, very quickly we can see 46,960. And then 46,600 is also looking possible if it closes uh, below the support. So as we see, uh, the data is bearish and charts have started to indicate bearishness, but only a cap up scenario could make it volatile. And if you ask me, has the market topped out? I have uh, like 70 to 80% doubt that it has not formed a top yet. Um, Reason is again very bit uh, very much complex. So it's like you have to analyze various months of data, like when the top is formed and uh, during which week the market starts to correct and things like that. So as of now, in my opinion, uh, I would say 70 to 80 percent of the chance that it has not formed a top yet. I still think 22 530 525 will be broken on upside. Um, let's have a look at it. Okay. Uh, so if you are liking my videos, uh, please do share, subscribe and comment if you have any questions from your end. I will be happy to answer that as well. Right? Thank you all. Have a good day.